Well, I just remember being in such awe of what Mel did with The Passion. Um, I remember seeing it the first screening that morning that it came out, and I remember seeing it again that weekend, and I remember seeing it again at the end of the year when it was re-released. And I just thought, you know, I've always been trying to figure out, you know, what am I supposed to do with all these wonderful blessings that have been bestowed upon me, and how do I kind of give that back? And I've been doing lots of stuff within my community and, and helping other people that are in need or people that I encounter along the way, but um, it always felt like there was more to do. As an actor, you couldn't find a better role with kind of more interesting and challenging arc. I think it's, it's every actor's dream to kind of go on this kind of epic journey with a character and play him from very kind of young age where he's a physical specimen to somebody who's gone through so much. I didn't need to look any further than to my own dad and every time I visited him to watch him just kind of wasting away a little bit more. Each time that I saw him, my dad had strokes and had a battle with cancer. Um, never did any of the real physical rehab. So all the hand gestures and stuff, that's all kind of my dad um, in a wheelchair and seeing him. And also uh, the, the kind of anger and frustration that he didn't continue to fight and you know try to rehab himself. Thing I said this earlier, everything was predicated on his physical attributes and his physical abilities, but then it was, it was, it was his spirit that really soared and, and, and became, you know, what everybody now knows as the force of nature of Father Stu that impacted so many people yeah. um, and his unwavering uh, dedication and service to God. Well, I think the most powerful moment in the movie is when Stu's kind of asking why, but he gets the answer right there at the altar because everybody asks that question. This is me kind of dealing with the loss of my mom for the first time externally like I was always keeping it in I knew it was, it was the day was coming I was during the movie I was hoping it was gonna happen while I was shooting and then it kind of happened and we were shooting that scene okay everything happens for a reason we're all gonna face this at some point right mortality especially it's just it's inevitable so how do you do that and for him to right there kind of be upset be vulnerable emotional and then kind of laugh at some of the mistakes that he's making but then be reminded of the journey that he's on and, and, and what he's supposed to be doing, and then from that moment on committing to never waver again. But that real life experience was invaluable. When people know that you've been there, you've been through it yourself, it just, it's just so relatable to them. You know, they, they, um, they feel comforted by that, to know that other people have been through it and come out the other side and can have an outlook of, of really being hopeful and positive. And I think we have to be able to speak to people in a way that they really just understand and can relate, you know? it's. Um, it's, there, there's so much going on in the world today, right? There's so many things that we don't really need to be focusing on or thinking about as opposed to really just accepting people for who they are, loving them and encouraging them to do their best and be their best and, and spreading that love to other people. We, we want to really open people's eyes and their hearts and their mind and then fill them with nothing but love and positivity and optimism about the future. You know, in the way that Stu really did. You know, he touched so many people. That's why people waited in line in the middle of the winter for hours and hours and hours just to just to get the honest truth out of him. And he was brutally honest with people. Um, if he felt like you were screwing up, he was going to tell you. You know, if he felt like you know you just kind of had to wait it out, and you know, opportunity would come your way, he'd tell you that too. He really told you what he what he, what he felt. Well, one of my favorite lines in the movie is that you know. Some of the most remarkable figures in the history of the church are reformed men, you know. It, uh, all I knew was guys who were either reformed or needed to be reformed. And so know that, that God wasn't giving up on us. And there was, there was definitely a purpose for us out there. We just had to go and figure out what that was. That certainly gave me lots of encouragement and hope. My intentions were always to bring people to church, hopefully people to the vocation of priesthood, and just bring people together. You know, bringing people together in faith is, uh, is a beautiful thing and reminding people that we're not forgetting about them, we're not giving up on them, and that we're encouraging them to be the best versions of themselves. And it's never too late to change if you're willing to do the work and people will recognize that.